can you identify this plant isn't it pistia which is an example for offset vegetative propagation stem modification yes yes it is pistia stratoides it's an aquatic plant you can see it is in the water it belongs to a family arum family araceae family and in this family it comes under solo genus means pistia it's only one genus is there and its common names are water cabbage water lettuce nile cabbage shell flower now if you see there are three structures here at each node rosette like leaves appear on the top and a bunch of hanging roots appear bottom and the distance between two nodes is called as internode which is called as offset and if the offset breaks then the plant it can establish itself separately it can establish itself separately here is the offset which helps the plant to float which has spongy parenchymatous tissue we can see this is a daughter plant which got separated as its offset got broken off and it can establish into a new plant it is called as nile cabbage because it was first discovered from the nile near the lake victoria in africa because of its rosette like appearance we call it as water cabbage and water lettuce it is having beautiful hanging roots and at the tips they are having root pockets we know aquatic plants will have root pockets at their tips the difference between root pocket and the root cap is root cap can be regenerated but the pocket the root pocket yeah you can see here pocket cannot be regenerated the peculiarity of the pistia roots they are adventitious roots they are hanging roots they are bunch of roots they are feathery they are feathery and this is a daughter plant and these are the rosette shaped appearance of the leaves it is a monocot plant we can see the rosette like leaves and the parallel venation is also clearly visible here the leaves are called floating leaves they are spongy leaves they have parallel venation the margins of the leaves are wavy we can use it in our aquarium so where the roots become the attractive structures and the plant also hides the fishes also hide under these leaves and the roots but it is an invasive weed don't try to introduce it into the water bodies it overgrows and blocks the exchange of the surface water it blocks the light also it creates hypoxic conditions means it drains of the oxygen and kills many organisms aquatic organisms not only that it even provide the breeding ground for the mosquitoes the mosquito which causes malaria filaria they can lay their eggs under the leaves and the roots and can you see the tiny small leaf like structures which are floating in the water along with pistia so when i am collecting this plant in the water i got another small plant which is the smallest angiosperm smallest vascular flowering plant it is wolfia so wolfia common name is it's called water meal it is called duckweed yeah don't think it is a broken part of leaf it is a plant itself but without roots wolfia doesn't have roots but it produces flowers each flower has one stamen and one pistil only this wolfia plant belongs to family araceae and this wolfia also participates in vegetative propagation only the rounded structures if they get disturbed they establish them into new plants now in certain parts of asia this wolfia plants are collected and consumed as nutritive food because it's equivalent its nutritive values are equivalent to the soya bean it contains 40% of protein and 40% of carbohydrates so that's why it is taken as nutritive food so in this picture in this video so we have seen pistia beautiful plant it is having hanging roots feather like roots monocot having rosette like leaves right 
and we have also seen the smallest angiosperm smallest vascular flowering plant which is called as wolfia i have collected this from this area you can see these pictures also you can see the offsets clearly here yeah this is one offset see from one plant how many offsets are growing in many directions that is why it is invasive if you see it grows beautifully it appears like small green colored flower like structures thank you.